Today, we're going to be learning how we can use the at override type annotation, which was introduced in Python 3.12. And to get started, we need to import it from the typing module. So from typing imports override. And to use it, we first need to create a base class. And this class is going to be called person, which just initializes a person. And this person contains an initializer that gives that instance of a person a name. Then I also gave this person some basic functionality, such as the ability to eat and the ability to work. And right below our person class, I created a subclass of our person, and this is a programmer. So it inherits from person, and all we do inside our initializer for the programmer is use the super call to make sure that we initialize the person properly. Then inside our if name is equal to main block, I created a programmer of type programmer, who's called James. And all we're going to do inside here is call programmer.work. Right now, if we open up the terminal and we run this, we're going to get back that James is working because programmer inherits from person, which means we get all the methods that are associated with a person. But now what we're going to do next is override the work method. So let's go to our programmer class. And here we're going to create a method called def work, and that's going to take self and it's going to return to us none. And inside here, we can print the formatted string of self.name is programming. So now we have a work method that's associated with programmer. And this is a custom implementation that overrides our original work method. So let's save this file and then let's run the script. And what we're going to get back is that James is still working. It did not override the original method. And that's because we did something that a lot of programmers or a lot of humans do and this is called human error because we made a very small typo here in the name of our method, which means that we're still referring to the original method. And I know that in this example, it was quite obvious, but as your classes get bigger and bigger, this might not become that obvious. You might not even know that you didn't override the method that you were trying to override. And our goal is to override the original method. So the reason I explicitly wrote this typo is to show you that there is a way to catch this now. With Python 3.12, we have something called at override. And this will tell our type checker, whether it's MyPy or something else, that this method was intended to overwrite another method. And right now, if you scroll over it, you'll see that method work is marked as override, but no base method of the same name is present. So now type checkers can actually catch when we are not overriding something that we wanted to override. And it also makes it much more explicit that this was meant to override. So we can easily fix that by adding the O here because we ended up making a silly typo. And the next time that we actually run our script, we're going to get that James is programming. So it was able to refer to the correct method, the one that we actually wanted to override. And once again, if we were to change this to something such as hello, save our file, you'll see immediately that we're going to get some syntax highlighting. And if you actually run MyPy instead of Python, MyPy will be able to catch this. Method hello is marked as an override, but no base method was found with the same name. And this was found on line number 20. So that's all that override does. It just tells Python that that method was made to be overwritten. So let's change that back to work and we will get no more complaints from our static type checker. But anyway, I would love to hear what you think about this new feature in Python 3.12 whether you're looking forward to using it, whether you think it's even worth using, or whether you wish it existed in the past. I would love to hear about that in the comment section down below. But otherwise, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.